All right, guys, what's going on? I found a stack of uh, San Diego Padres rookies and prospects on my desk. So I looked them up. We're going to run through them, see who goes in incubation to be checked on in like three years before going to the final annex and who stays near my desk to be checked on later this year in the good pile. So first we have Abraham Almonte. He's currently playing for the Cleveland Indians and he's doing horrible. His batting average is like 220. He's just not doing well. We have Gabriel Quintana. He's playing for the Tigers AA team. Another one. He's batting in the low 200s. He's just... He, he never seemed to be that great in the minors. And I don't see him being good at all. So... Next, we have Fernando Perez. Uh, Perez is on the Padres AA team. He's Right now, he's in a slump. But he did really well so far in his minor league career. And not to mention the fact that he's only 23. So... I don't know. I'm going to keep him in the good pile just because I, have, I kind of have faith in this guy. Next, we have Austin Hedges. Hedges is on the, uh, he's on the Padres' main team, and he's batting in the high 100s. He's just not doing well, so I'm not expecting him to like hang on to him for too much longer. Next, we have Zach Lemond, the pitcher. He's currently playing for the single-A team. They called him up to double A last year, and he got absolutely rocked. I think he gave up eight runs in like three or four innings. Really bad. But he's working from the bullpen right now, and he has a really low walks and hits per inning pitched. It's like 1.1. He has six games under his belt already, and he's pitching multiple innings in each of these games. So he's going to stay in the good pile for now. I, I think he's going to be good, especially if they keep him as a reliever. He might he might be a career uh, relief pitcher, but, you know, you need that sometimes. Not everybody can be a starter pitching perfect games. Speaking of perfect games, Michael Geddes, I think he pitched a perfect game in high school. But he batted 305 last year. He's starting slow right now. Uh, his, his slash line is 230, 279, 333. But he's only, he's only 21. And this guy, I think, I watched some videos of him. He looks like a natural. Like he really, when you hear five-tool player, you look at this guy. That's a five-tool player. Of course, we now know that five-tool player doesn't mean shit. But oh, sorry, doesn't mean anything. But gotta try to keep this PG. I curse like a sailor, by the way. Like normally, I'm trying to keep it very, very low key. I think it's the second time it slipped. I'm not gonna refilm this. I refilmed this three times already. So the last guy's Hunter Renfro. Hunter. I strike out like a third of the time, Renfro, Hunter. I, I have more strikeouts than hints, hits, Renfro. Mr. Renfro has 37, is it 37? 37 strikeouts and 25 hits. The dude, when he goes up to bat, just tries to crush the ball. It's like he's trying to be the San Diego version of Larry Walker. And it's just really not working. The dude needs to learn way more discipline. He should actually take a look at Aaron Judge. Because Aaron Judge is basically what Hunter Renfro wants to be. But Aaron Judge does it so much better. Aaron Judge relaxed. He calmed down at the plate. He looks for his pitch. And when he sees a pitch that he can just like get behind, he just crushes it. And that's what Renfro needs to do. Because when you see Renfro hit the ball, it's impressive. It's not, it's not Aaron Judge, I'm going to kill somebody with this line drive impressive. But it's pretty impressive. So, he's going to stay in the good pile. I have faith in Hunter Renfro. He came up with Corey Spangenberg, I think. And we all know Corey Spangenberg, he made the team. He's back up. He's doing pretty well. I'm very, I'm proud of my boy. But I think Hunter's going to be, I think Hunter's going to be really, really good. Just, he needs, but the caveat is he needs to calm down. Stop swinging at everything. He's swinging at everything. Not even if it's close. If it's outside, he's swinging at it. Anyway, that's it. Um, I had a mail day today. I filmed it. It's kind of a, kind of a weird video. I don't know if I'm gonna post it. I probably end up will. I probably will, just because I I don't I'm not gonna have I have my interview tomorrow. I'm not gonna have time to film anything. I think tomorrow, and I have another mail day coming in later this week. And uh, it's a good it's a rookie. I'm gonna keep you guys in suspense of who it is. It's somebody who I think you're all gonna be like, all right, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's a good pickup. And then another rookie for a different sport. I'm not going to branch out into this sport. I just, I did, the deal was too good to pass up. And it's kind of like the cards I like to, I would like to collect. And it's, it's for a guy who I think could be. The cost benefit analysis on it is fine. All right. All right. I don't want to, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. The cost benefit analysis is good. Yeah. 
So that's about it. These guys stay in the good pile. Sorry guys, you are going in the annex. Alright, see ya.